What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video today. We're checking out the motherships. So we're gonna explain these things. We're gonna tell you how to buy them, how to upgrade them, why you do not wanna sell your extra components after you have upgraded them. So first off, each one of these ships has their own components. All right, you use the components to buy the ship and then you also use those components to upgrade the ship. And once the ship is maxed out and you have extra components, a lot of people are selling those guys. Do not sell your extra components. Those may be used for future upgrades. For example, let's click on the Monarch over here. You can see there's one, there's one turret here, there's one turret here, and then there's an empty slot. You may be able to upgrade the turrets and or unlock more turrets in the future using these same components and more turns may become available which you can buy with the components so after you get a ship and you max it out do not sell the extra components guys keep those no matter what keep those so many people are making the mistake of selling the components all right so first off let's talk about the different ships so your first ship is your tier one ship and that's the dreadnought this one has a basic attack function Next, we have the Mantis, which is our Tier 2 ship. This one has healing, and it gives you an Aegis shield, which is really awesome. And then third, we have our Monarch, which has a really strong attack ability, and it gives you an Aegis shield as well. Now, each one of these holds some turrets. For example, if we click on the Monarch, there's a Target Ray Cannon and an Aegis shield. Now, these are not, these are not currently interchangeable. I cannot put one of the healing turrets onto this. Now, eventually, maybe I can unlock the slot and add a healing turret. I'm not really sure, but as of right now, this one holds attack and, he and, uh, attack and an Aegis shield. This one holds, you know, healing and an Aegis shield. And currently, this one only holds attack. But it looks like all of these might have some unlockable slots in the future. That's just speculation. But I do have some really strong intel saying, hey, those, those uh, components are going to be used for other things in the past. So don't sell them. Hold on to them, guys. And so currently, we only have a Tier 1, Tier 2, and a Tier 3 ship. I can almost guarantee you a Gold Tier 4 ship is going to come out at some point. All right? And that one's probably going to have all three of the turrets. We're not exactly sure what all is going to be on it or what it's going to do. But I can guarantee you at some point there will be a tier four mothership coming out. Okay, so let's check out the tier three monarch. When you max this guy out, it's going to do 73,000 damage. Plus, it's going to give you DOT effect on the laser strike, which is really cool. Plus, it gives you an Aegis shield that gives you around 100,000 all right, 100,000 hit point Aegis shield. Very cool. I like this ship a lot. Let's move over to the, uh, where's the Mantis? Hold on, hold on. Where's the Mantis? All right, so this is the Mantis. This is my current favorite ship. Every time you activate this one, you get healing. You get an 80,000 hit point Aegis shield. And I really like this one a lot. The healing in the shield is so nice. I mean, you can even give Titans a shield. When this comes down, any of your any of your allies that are inside of the little area get the shield and the healing as well. Same thing with the Mantis, all right? It can give all your allies a shield. So it's a really cool deal. And next we have the Dreadnought. And when you max this guy out, it's going to give you an attack, tar uh, attack turret that does 41,692 damage max. So, of course, this is the Tier 1 ship. It's not as good. It can only hold the one turret right now. If I go to the, if I click on the turret and I go to the store, you're going to see there's only one available here, right? There's only one turret available, unfortunately. So, I can't swap these turrets out. I can only use the target ray cannon. Now, eventually, this turret may be upgradable. Maybe not. We're not sure. Or there's going to be more turrets you can buy for the ships coming out. So you're wondering, how do I get components for the ships? Well, if you go up to special delivery, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know how long these are going to be in here, but sometimes opening these crates can give you motherships or components for the motherships. All right. So I imagine these, these motherships are going to be in the crates for a little while. That's one way to get the motherships or the components for them. They say daily tasks are one way we might be able to get some components for the ships, all right? 
Can't guarantee that they're always going to be in here or that they ever will be in here, but there's some intel saying eventually we might see some components for the ships in the daily tasks. All right, so if you come over here to these chests, the 100 chest currently has parts for the Dreadnought in it, and we might see more parts for more of these motherships being added to some of these chests in the future. Can't guarantee it, but it's definitely a good possibility. Now, if you go over to the workshop and you click on motherships, you're going to be able to see exactly how many components you have for each one of these ships, just in case you can't find it anywhere. That's the easiest way to find your components. And like I said, a lot of people are selling these. Do not do that. Keep those components, guys. Keep those components because you may need them in the future. Now, if you get a ship, even if you don't really want that one, you might as well upgrade it because each ship has their own, compo own components. So if you get components for the Dreadnought, those can only be used to upgrade the Dreadnought. So why not do it, right? You can't use Dreadnought components for the Mantis or the Monarch. So there's no point to just leave those set, guys. When you get enough components, go ahead and max out your ships. It'd be nice, nice to have all three maxed out anyways. You know, eventually if you decide you don't want a ship, you can you can actually sell the entire ship. So for example, I could sell a Mox, maxed out Monarch for 18 million silver. A maxed out Dreadnought is only worth about 1 million, so that's not so great. But honestly, you never know what they're going to do with these, so I would keep all of the ships. Don't sell these ships, guys. They might buff these things in the future. I mean, this Dreadnought be could become really good at some point. We just don't know what they're going to do with them. So for now, keep everything you get. Don't sell them. So if you're in your hangar and you want to change or upgrade your ships, all you do is come down here to the bottom of your screen, click the little thing here that looks like a rocket ship. Next, go ahead and click this ship, and I can hit, I can hit upgrade. This one's already maxed out, but it would say upgrade there, or I can hit change. And then I can go into my inventory or I can go up here to the store to buy the other ships. All right. So over over here, it tells me I got this many components, this many components. And this one cost 800,000 silver to buy the Dreadnought. But everybody should have got one of these for free and got enough enough components to pretty much max this out for free, which was super cool of them to do. But each one of these ships has two to three different things you have to level up on them. I think it's only two, actually. It's got two things you got to level up. Actually, the Dreadnought has two things to level up. The other two have three things to level up, all right? I don't know exactly how many components it takes to level one of these up, but the higher in the ship, the more components and the harder it is to max these things out. I know a lot of you guys weren't really into the motherships when they first came out, but they're actually kind of cool. I mean, they're kind of fun. The way they got them set up right now, they're really not too devastating. The worst part about it is, okay, we got another button we have to press. Um, it's, it's not super hard to get the resources to buy and upgrade these things, which is nice. We don't have some sort of extra currency that we have to buy or spend their money on. I mean, we can just kind of play the game and eventually we'll get a lot of this stuff, all right? So, I don't know. They're not as bad as everybody thought they were going to be. I know everybody said, we don't want the motherships, but they're here. We've got to give them a chance. we got to try them out. I've already got used to it, and I don't know. They're okay, guys. They're okay. They're not as bad as I thought. So, anyways, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Please remember to like and subscribe, hit that little bell, set those notifications to all, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, catch y'all later. See ya. Lightning out.